a poll um, maybe like a month ago ish um whether you guys wanted to see a video of my makeup collection or if you guys wanted to see a video of things that I think that you should have in like your makeup starter kit um I believe the one that won was the starter kit one so with that being said I'm gonna pick out a few inexpensive items that you guys can have in your kit in order to start collecting makeup and still get you like a beautiful face. so first off what i'm gonna say is the palette that i am wearing is the as soon as i can find it the james charles palette the mini i'm gonna say that this is definitely a win like i can't remember how much it is um i bought it when it was on sale i think i got it for less than 40 dollars but it has every color that you can possibly like want to use they have a bunch of neutral pat like shades in the middle they have a bunch of colors greens blues pinks yellows stuff like that so this is definitely a good starter kit makeup palette that you guys can have the morphe james charles i got the mini because i didn't really need the big pans um i got this blush palette from juvia's place Whenever you're first starting out with makeup, whether you like blush or whether you don't, I feel like this was no more than $20. Juvia's Place is a really good first starter kit type of makeup brand that you guys can start with. Um, so, Juvia's Place is a really good brand to start. I have their foundation, but what I will say is when you're first starting out, um, it's really up to you whether or not you're a full coverage foundation type of girl, whether you're a medium coverage foundation type of girl. So, I wouldn't necessarily say jump right into Juvia's Place because they're, although it's very inexpensive and it's not going to cost you any more than $20 as far as this foundation goes, it's literally like you plastering on a face. And if that's not something you're comfortable with or get into, I would not suggest getting that just yet. The Maybelline Fit Me. Um, this is like $10, $15, depending on how much they went up. You can use this. But I've also been using the NYX Born to Glow Concealer as my foundation lately. Um, I've switched from using foundation foundations because it just usually makes me oily and then went into the using concealer instead like today on my face i used concealer in the middle i used a little bit of nyx around there and i used some other foundation that i have that i did not purchase that it's a darker shade to contour with but i also use juvia's place contour sticks these i will suggest these are starter kit friendly if you guys wanted to use the foundation sticks because foundation sticks you can put them on and then use some type of setting spray and blend them out so that's safer than getting there um and easier to use than getting their actual thick plastered foundation the tiniest bit and show you guys what i mean like it's literally so thick it covers everything which is good but it's like so thick and if you're new to makeup that's not something that's going to be like like it's just so thick so i would say get something like thinner and build your way up to full coverage like maybe start with medium coverage until you're comfortable enough to work with full coverage because i'm not even comfortable enough to work with full coverage another one that i will suggest but it's a little bit more expensive is the fenty beauty foundation a lot of people wear fenty beauty there's a lot of shades and that's why i would suggest you to get fenty beauty because there's a lot of shades there's a shade for everybody plenty of undertones um, if you don't know your shade, you can walk into, I believe it's Sephora, and you can have them match you up with a color right there. Like, I don't use foundation anymore, but when I did, I did use the Maybelline Fit Me, I did use the Rihanna Fenty, I did use the Juvia's Place, but it's all been, like, at different times. Like, if it's super hot outside, you don't want a thick Juvia's Place foundation on because it's literally going to make you sweat and you're going to have a cakey face and <laughs> sis nobody likes that but you would want like a thinner um foundation something that your skin can breathe through so fenty or maybelline fit me i haven't used a lot of the ones that a lot of people hype from the drugstore because i've like washed my hands with foundations all together like i'm okay with not using a foundation and just using concealer and having my face look like this like i've been using the mac 
fix plus prep and prime since the beginning of times okay i've switched out and i've went to other people i even have purchased the morphe one i thought this was it i've even purchased the morphe one and i still went back i need to get me a bigger one but i've been buying the minis because i haven't actually been in a max store i've just been in like ultas and sephora's and they have the little ones but this is literally like my favorite setting spray like i don't get any ashy flashback i don't get my face doesn't just like drench off like i feel like if you are intimidated by the price of the bigger ones start with the mini i believe the mini is like 20 dollars or less so start with the mini because this is literally my fave like it gets all that powderiness off your face no you don't need that i use these like a lot of my stuff that i have right now and i'm using in daily or every time i do a video or a lot of drugstore stuff right now but the maybelline fit, fit me um the loose finishing powders i have the 30 medium deep and i have deep 40 i use this one under my eyes and to set most of my face and i use this on like where i'm contouring if i use that powder for that so i also have the fenty beauty um honey with so starter kit i would say either blend this way um concealer if they have a shade that matches you or the maybelline fit me for foundation concealer mm -hmm. nyx has some good concealers no um the one that i use i usually use it for contouring because it's really dry and once it dries it doesn't move so you don't really want a concealer that's going to dry and not move under your eyes because it's going to set into your fine lines if you have them. So, if you do buy the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer, I would suggest not using it for under your eye and using it somewhere else on the face. And then, the Juvia's Place Concealer is actually really good. Um, as far as the price, it's not that expensive, so I would suggest you guys can use this. Um for your starter pack because i'm trying to keep it less than a hundred dollars for all the products so i would say you can use that as well but we all know this drugstore fave and we've all had this drugstore fave i use this one because it's cool toned in between my nose but there's all different shades there's light shades dark shades like the la girl pro concealer is literally I don't know, like, the best drugstore concealer. Like, it's an oldie but goodie. Like, a good primer. Uh, primers is really hard to recommend because primers go with your skin type. I want to make sure my face has enough moisture in it. So, I've been using, like, this that I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm sorry, I don't know how much it is. But it is the Touch and Soul pretty filter glass skin balm i've been using this and i've also been using the pure four in one honestly yes primer is important and you need a primer whenever you are doing your makeup to if you want it to last long but i can't tell you which one you should get because it depends on your skin type. um highlighter there's a bunch of highlighters that are in the drugstore that i have not actually tried yet but i do like the one that comes in the black radiance um true complexion contour palette it's very like golden i haven't used it today but it's very golden and nice and buttery like mm, like they did their thing with this so if you're looking for a contour palette i would suggest this in your starter pack as well that for my lip combos i've been using a lot of nyx products because nyx is where it's at i'm sorry to tell you if you ain't know you late to the game and i'm gonna let you know the nyx lingerie line best line they probably ever dropped i don't know what color this is maybe lippy lip lip lie 03 i don't know but 03 if you see something that says 03 that's probably what it is but i i don't know what the actual color is but that's from nyx as well nyx nyx lingerie I also have the NYX Lip Crayon in the color, I believe this is, where is it? Maybe, it's, I think it's just brown. No, Espresso. These two, lip line, this, and then I put 
the Makeup Revolution I Heart Chocolate Lip Gloss. I've been using this a lot. I just picked it up in the store because I like the shade. I like little mauve pink shades, but this is chocolate chip cookie dough. And it smells like literally so amazing. So those are just a few things. Oh, eyebrow pencil. I almost forgot. Okay, so sis, I'm going to give you the tea. You heard it here first. Today I used the light brown color, which I think it would have been a smart move if I had blonde hair. But since my hair is black, I probably should have went with the darker color. But the brow pencil that I use is Absolute New York super slim point fine pencils these are what they look like they usually they have two ends the part that you brush your brows with and then the part that has the product um i use the color smoke which is like their dark color it's like really bold in your face but it's not black it has like a little bit of cool undertone to it but it looks really nice on like a lot of different skin tones Kiki Adams is the one, the YouTuber that I watch, and she uses it. And then I've been using Expresso, which is what I use today. And it gave me, like, a little bit of a lighter brow because I feel like sometimes when I use smoke, depending on my hair color or my hair, it's, like, too in your face. Like, my brows are, like, screaming at you. So today I just chose to go with Expresso, but I think I should have just mixed the two. My favorite eyeliner to this date is the Wet n' Wild mega liner i don't know what they put in it but it's literally great like why would i spend so much money on getting an expensive one when the cheaper one works just as fine highlighter that i used to use clearly it's gone the master chrome another maybelline metallic highlighter there is one a cheap one from i believe it I want to say wet and wild that I got my cousin to use and it looks really good on her skin. But thank y'all for watching this video. If anybody wants to recommend any other topics that you guys want me to talk about. Um, I do plan on posting a hair video pretty soon. But thanks and I'll see you next time. Love you. Thank y'all for watching this video. If anybody wants to recommend any other topics that you guys want me to talk about. Um, I do plan on posting a hair video pretty soon. But thanks, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.